In chapter 11, we left off in Raleigh after completing one of my favorite treks to Princess Lagoon. Like we said, this is our favorite place in Thailand, so get ready to see a little more of it. We spent our third day soaking up the sun and exploring Pra Nang Beach. Limestone peaks, caves, white sand, and turquoise blue water. What more could you ask for? Our last day on Riley, we spent exploring the large caves that connect the west and east beaches. From Ao Nang, we traveled to Koh Sak National Park. Shortly after arriving, I started not to feel so good. In the morning, Chantel stayed in bed, and I left to conquer the Sipit Chan Waterfall Trail solo. Shortly into the trail, it started to remind me of the Jurassic Park movies, the poorly kept trail, the deserted hut, and the rickety bridge. About an hour and a half into the hike, the path turned into no path at all. At this point, I made the decision to turn around and head back to the western trail. I 
I stepped off the path at the Wing Hin waterfall and spent the afternoon being chased around by a butterfly. The next day, I felt much better. We rented a scooter and we were off to the Chow Lan Lake. On the way to the docks, we met another couple interested in splitting the cost of a private boat. You would be surprised, but renting a scooter, driving to the dam, and splitting a boat four ways is much cheaper than taking a tour where they put you on a single boat with 18 other people. <laughs> On our way back to the dam, we rescued a stranded boat and towed them back to the docks. The following morning, we traveled to the port where we caught our ferry heading to Copenhagen. Landing on Copenhagen, we found a small beachfront hut with no AC, which may have been a mistake. Regardless, the view from our front porch was breathtaking. We finished our day off with an evening walk. 